Hey guys and girls, King Lear here from Proceed to Checkpoint and welcome to Som Al Hard Mode. This is the first of the new dungeons introduced in patch 3.5 for Final Fantasy XIV. This can be obtained by talking to a Moogle who is uh, right in the very, very corner in Idleshire. Idleshire? I don't know how to pronounce that. Um, and that will directly unlock this dungeon. No extra story quest, no extra progression required. You pretty much accept the quest. Um, travel to Som Al, speak to an NPC, and the dungeon is unlocked for you. This will be a very, very quick guide, day zero guide, just to cover over the very basic tactics that you're going to need in order to be successful and complete this dungeon. I'll possibly replace it later on with a better guide as more and more tactics come out, but this will give you the basics. Before you reach any bosses, the first thing to bear in mind with this dungeon is you'll see circular AoEs spawn on the ground on vents of steam. These aren't coming from the mobs themselves, these are ones that just spawn from the steam vents on the ground. If you stand in these AoEs, you will get a vulnerability debuff. Now, the important thing to know here is if you drag the enemies onto these AoEs, they will also gain the vulnerability debuff, making them significantly quicker to kill. So your tank wants to be positioning the creatures on top of these AoEs as much as they possibly can. The first boss in Somal Hard is pretty straightforward. He will do an unavoidable AoE that will hit the entire party and just has to be healed. Throughout the fight, he will spawn seed pods all across the arena. After a period of time, these seed pods will get an AoE around them and they will detonate. You want to avoid standing in this or standing near these as much as possible. Throughout the fight, as it gets further and further on, the seed pods will get bigger, the AoEs will get bigger, but the base mechanics stay the same. Don't stand near the seeds and avoid the AoE that comes from them. He will also, throughout the fight, turn towards a random player, attack them, which hits them reasonably hard, and he will inflict heavy on them. Naturally, heavy is a bit of a pain in the ass if you're trying to escape from seeds, so you want to try and get this off as quickly as possible, especially when the seeds spawn and you need to move around to avoid them. As far as I could see, the larger seeds that spawn towards the end of the fight, instead of having a circular AoE around them, they act as meteors. So you really, really want to stay away from them, like as far as possible away. The second boss in Som Al Hard is another reasonably straightforward one. Um, this is a boss tactic that we've seen before. You have to watch what he's doing. Um, depending on whether he rears up to the front, he will swipe in front of him. If he rears up towards the back, he will do a tail swipe. And if he looks towards the front and breathes in deep, then he is about to blast the entire party with fire. Basically, if he turns towards you, don't stand in front of him. The only other thing to bear in mind is he does do a tail swipe, and I think this is triggered by standing behind him, because the only times that I see seem to trigger the tail swipe on this fight was when I was standing directly behind the boss. I tried to stand out to the sides of him to see if I could trigger, and I didn't. Could be circumstantial, but basically what I'm saying is don't stand behind the boss and if he turns towards you, get out of the way. On your way towards the final boss, you will encounter Blood of the Mountain as part of a couple of different trash pulls. These will continuously cast a move called Blaze and ideally you want to DPS these down ASAP and interrupt them so that they do not get off their cast of blaze. They can be interrupted by most interrupts and they don't have a whole lot of health. So these shouldn't get off a cast and you should be good to go on to the final boss. The final boss of Somal Hard, the giant lava scorpion, is again pretty straightforward. 
first thing to watch out for, he'll do an AoE in a pie around him. There's always one side which is safe to stand in. Throughout the fight, he will begin casting Flying Press, where he will put a marker over a random group member's head. When he's finished casting, he will jump to that member of the party and lay a fiery circle on the ground, as well as spawning a bunch of circular AoEs which you need to avoid. The important thing to note about the Flying Press is you cannot stack circles of Flying Press on top of each other, so whoever is targeted by Flying Press will ideally want to stand near to one of the existing circles, but just outside of the area where they would overlap. In addition to this, he will spawn adds throughout the fight, DPS them down, very, very straightforward. The main trick to this fight is stacking the fiery, the flying press correctly so that they don't overlap. If they do overlap, they'll just spawn somewhere random instead, and that has a very, very good chance to screw your group. As long as you're managing the flying press stacks, everything else is just dodging AoEs, and you should be good to go. Congratulations on beating Som Al Hard Mode. Thank you very much for watching, guys. This has been a very quick day zero guide to Som Al Hard Mode. I may replace it with a better one in the future um, when the patch has been out for a while and I've ran the dungeon a couple more times. But this should give you the knowledge straight off to just get through the dungeon and beat it if you're struggling with it. Like, comment, let me know what you think of this dungeon. I found it pretty easy to be honest. Um, I imagine most people will be the same. But there are some tricky parts in there which could throw an unassuming group. Don't forget to hit subscribe if you want to see some more Final Fantasy content in the future. And from me, for now, goodbye, and I'll see you next time on Proceed to Checkpoint.